Hey, another important skill set to have is utilizing a flashlight in conjunction with your handgun. All right, a lot of people nowadays will mount a handgun to their weapon. All right, um, and if you're able to do that, awesome. Big downside of that is anytime you just want to get a light on something, you're also pointing your gun at it. All right, so I think it's a better policy to have a flashlight that you can manipulate very easily. This is a cheapo Walmart flashlight I got for like 30 bucks, okay, 250 lumens. I can get a good grip on it. All right, let me show you the two techniques that I was taught at Gunsight Academy and used uh, <coughs> in concealed carry classes is what I teach. All right, first one is the FBI technique. FBI technique, we don't know where our threat is, okay, and we're searching out here. Turn the light on, maybe turn the light off. All right, turn the light on, we move around, and then we turn the light off, we're searching, okay? We're moving our feet and we're being unpredictable, all right? Um, it's a good searching technique. It's very deceptive. If that guy out there doesn't know where you are, um, he might think there's more than one of you out there. So it's a good deceptive technique and we can engage from here if we want to, all right? We can engage from here. However, the preferred technique for flashlights is the Harry's technique. What I'm talking about is now we are engaging our threat. If I'm clearing out a house or my, you know, a room in the dark, I'm going to come in a Harry's technique. I'm going to bring that flashlight underneath. Okay. The back of our hands are touching each other. All right. I think it's a comfortable position. And from here I can, if I got a push button, engage. Okay. Not only looking at and focusing on my front sight, I have illumination on my front sight, but I also have illumination on my target. All right, this is a great technique. It's my preferred one. Okay, so get out there and practice both. Okay, it should be comfortable. I see a lot of guys, and we've done night calls here for concealed carry. I see uh, when guys are messing it up, all right, the flashlight is down here and uh, they can't see their front sight. For me, Okay, you don't want it like this in, a, in, in more of a T. You want to lock that wrist up in this position. And that way, I'm illuminating my front sight and my target. It should be high, okay, in this manner. Practice that. Not this. This is not it. It ain't it. Bring it up here, okay? All right, so let's engage this target here. It's about five yards away. Do some flashlight techniques, okay, um, on both this target and that target over there, okay? So here we go. Maybe searching for my target out here. All right, stop. All right, forgot to load my gun. So that's another thing. If I need to load my weapon, okay, I'm gonna turn that, that flashlight off, pinch it in my armpit, all right? Then I'm going to do what I gotta do in the dark, shouldn't have to look. All right, weapons back up. Now I can bring my flashlight back into action. Okay, that's the way we want to do it. Cinch that shit in your armpit, do what you have to do, and then get it out as quickly as you can. So, I mean, didn't have the gun loaded, but there's another little training opportunity there. Okay, anytime you need to manipulate the gun, it could be immediate action or remedial action. All right, put that shit in your armpit. All right, let's try that again. We're gonna do a FBI technique to start out. Yeah, I can engage from here if I need to, all right? All right, but the Harry's technique is the preferred method. So I'm searching, all right, come underneath. All right, not too bad. Let's try it again. All right, Harry's. Okay. All right. Cinch it in my armpit, do what I gotta do. And that's it. Practice this shit. Could save your life.